Well, it's a bright Sunday morning in the 40s. Snow is expected. I don't think we're going to get it, though. I think it's going to stay south of us. I'm out getting ready to pick up one chef's knife. You remember that set of eight Faberware knives I did? Uh, I don't know if I did them yesterday or Friday. But anyway, the girl called me. She says, Max, I think the chef's knife needs sharpening. It's not, it's, it's not as sharp as the other knives. So uh, and she lives in this big Navy housing project up here on the left about a mile, about two miles from where I live. So I'm going to pick it up and check it out and maybe resharpen it. More than likely, I'll resharpen it. She says it ain't sharp, so, you know, I guess it happens, but I don't understand it. Stand by for more. Well, I just picked them up, and I just resharpened them. They were sharp to me, but the customer's always right. I made them a little more toothier this time. I didn't refine them quite as much. Maybe she was trying to cut a tomato or something with them. And they wouldn't cut tomatoes. A lot of these sharp knives don't do very well on tomatoes. And I make these for cutting vegetables and, you know, things like that. Well, we'll see how it goes. I just walked in the door. It says every day goes by in a guy's lifetime when he needs a drink. Today is the day. I started out at 10 o'clock this morning to get two licenses for the nice stuff. One in Virginia Beach cost $40, took about 15 minutes. So then I found out I need one for Williams and Sonoma, that place I work once a month on Sundays at that big mall. So I've been talking to the lady via the internet for two weeks. She said, well, just come on in. You go here, you fill out the paperwork. You go there, fill out the paperwork. You go to the treasurer's, get your name, something with your name on it. You come back and she says, didn't take very long. Right. Maybe today was a bad day to go. or It was busy. I don't know. Anyway, I start out at the treasurer's office. I fill out all the paperwork. Then I have to go to zoning. Then I have to go to the treasurer's courthouse. I got my cell phone with me. You can't have any cell phones. I had to go back to the truck, drop my cell phone off. It's like going security to a courthouse. You have to take all your belts off and your shoes and empty over your pockets. Then you have to go to the seventh floor, fill out all this other paperwork, and you pay $10 there. Then you have to go back to the way you started out originally. They take all the paperwork and then they fill out something else and they give you a receipt and you have to go over to the treasurer's office where you actually end up paying. Uh, that took about, that took about 10 minutes. The line was sort of short there. Hey, boo boo, what are you doing? And it cost $65 there. And then you had to park in Egypt to get into this courthouse, treasurer's office. This is the adjoining city where I work. But anyway, I just got home, took three and a half hours, three hours and 40 minutes to be exact. $65, $10, and $3.40 and for parking. But I do have a license now for Williams and Sonoma to sharpen knives on Sunday. Man, what a day. I'm going to have one of these. But not right now. I talked to the fellow on the telephone just moments ago in my truck while I was coming home about these two knives. I know what he wanted to do to them, if anything. Well, I know there's a little teeny tiny, a couple little chips along the blade here in this one. This one's just got a little teeny place at the tip. He wants them uh, sharpened, polished, 
and it wants a micro bevel put on both of them. And that's about it. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. This one, as you can see, it's got a wide bevel on it. I don't know what it is. It's at least, well, I haven't checked it, so I'm, I'm only going to guess and say it's probably 15 or 16 on this knife. He says it's, uh, he told me this one's 15. But you can see there's a difference in, in the two, 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 two bevels. Well, this one's only, I would say, guessing, this one's probably, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't say it's more than 20, 19. Anyway, I don't, I don't know. I haven't checked him yet. But he wants bevel. He wants some. I'm going to raise the bevel on that one a little bit. And then put a micro bevel on both of them. About a two degree micro bevel. Maybe three. That's the Mars project. And all my little munchkins are right here. What are you doing, carnivore? The big old black poop daddy carnivore. <laughs> when I come home, he comes right through the door like the dogs. The other cats don't even come. Who in the hell is that? What's making that noise? They don't come out to see, but he brings, he's come right through the door like a dog. He can greet you. But as long as you don't try to pet him. <laughs> Isn't that right, Boo Boo? That's my little baby carnivore. We've had her a long time. Come over here, Boo Boo. Boo Boo, come here. Come here. Come here. Come see, come see everybody. If you pass your leg, he'll come right up to you and let you scratch him. On his back, he can't scratch him no place else. He can scratch around his head a little bit. As long as you don't make no sudden moves, boy, he gets mad when him sudden moves. But you can scratch him like that, he loves it. And he won't even go no place, he'll stand right there. Let you scratch him. But you don't make no fast moves. Look at him, look at him. Ooh, he would like to get you. Look at him. Hmm. <laughs> but he's a trip, that guy is. I would have never believed it. I'm ranting. I'm, I, damn, I had a terrible day. But I'm home. Going to go to the recliner, kick back, and eat my lunch that's been in the refrigerator for since this morning. Homemade tuna sandwiches. I'll see you. Frozen vegetables and sausage. The Indians. <laughs> well, it stopped raining right now. Rained all night, heavy. I don't know what the rest of the day is going to be. So here's what it looks like. Cold and rainy, high in the 40s, low in the 20s. Northwest 15 is at 15. Wednesday it says high in the 40s, low in the 20s, periods of sun with flurries. Thursday gets better, 46, plenty of sunshine. Friday, right there, 54, I like it. And Saturday, 62. And clouds and sunshine. 62 ain't bad they don't give the wind for Saturday but for southwest 7 to 14 on Friday so west northwest 6 8 to 16 Thursday that's a little bit that's iffy there but Friday and Saturday look good my time is running out I'll be nurse Max at Rancho Max Chris is having her hip replaced on the 16th, I mean the 20th, which is Monday. She'd be in the hospital two to three days. And then home. We'll have to see how it goes. Today we're going to work on these knives. Since we're not going to do much outside. The Spotico and the Benchmate. Reptilian and sheep's foot baby. Now that I know what he wants to do to him. All right, get back to you. I end this video and start a new one when I get ready to do those knives. But 
I guess Scott D's in from Beaver. He went yesterday, Doc Beaver. And this is the what the sand looks like. They're filling they're filling all that beach in in Ocean View where we hunt. This is uh, east of where we normally cave area. This is east about three miles. There's the jetty. You can see the jetty right there at, 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 at Little Creek where we hunt. Up once in a while we go that way. They're filling they're filling all this beach in right through here for the summertime. And Bieber took some nice pictures of it. There's the there's the crew on the beach. They're pumping the sand from off here in the channel onto this beach. And let's see if Beaver's got a better picture of it. Yeah, you might have in little pools where all those rocks were outside and the pools were inside sort of like. Well, as you can see, they're filling all them in. I'll back up here a little bit. Beaver took some nice pictures. That's what he found. He found he didn't find anything up this way. He went down to the cave and hunted in the cave area and found all these coins, silver coins. He found a bunch of silver coins. And he found a real weird looking he found that thing. It's some kind of foreign coin. He can't make he hadn't still hadn't found out what it is yet. But that's what it looks like. Kind of interesting. Big. I don't think we should be back here already, should we? Oh no, this is another coming down the area. Oh yeah, I guess it's just a duplication of what we just saw. Huh. All right, let's go back and see what Beaver says. Beaver says, 17th of Bay. Ocean view to greedy is solved. Found one good spot. Got into the silver quarter, silver dimes, and seven wheat pennies and some kind of copper disc. Mark patent applied for 1907. That's what that is. Patent applied for 1907, whatever that is. Interesting. Okay, that's it. I'll get back to you.